What I'd like to talk about tonight is a small bag that if you're like me that you can keep in your car. It's relatively cheap, doesn't attract a lot of attention, so it's likelihood is anybody breaking into your car or stealing it uh, is you know greatly diminished. Uh, of course, it'd be nice if we could all carry our 72-hour bags or bug out bags in our vehicle, but often that's just possibly not the best thing to do. Uh, there's a few disclaimers I'd like to uh, make before we get into this. Is I actually work and live at the shop, so my daily life I'm never far from my 72-hour bag. So I just wanted a bag I could keep in my car. So if I had to run to Walmart, which is right at two miles up the road, or five miles to uh, Tractor Supply or the parts house, you know, it, nothing over 10 miles. I wanted something to keep in my car that would just give me the very basics under pretty much any weather situation uh, that arose. And and right now, this is where I'm at. It is a, a bag. I was using a lunchbox. And uh, one day I was in Walmart and I always go down their clearance aisles. And this bag is made by somebody known as East Sports. Really never heard of them. Uh, does have this shoulder strap. And this shoulder strap will open up so you can sling it over your shoulder. I've just got it tucked down to keep it out of the way. I put it over my headrest and it rests and hangs below or behind the passenger seat does have a nice little carry handle uh, the mesh pockets on the side uh, for me are pretty worthless they're not big enough to hold a uh, water bottle that I've been able to find maybe a, a juicy juice or something but definitely not any kind of real water bottle but they're there I mean you could put smaller things in there and something I wanted is I'm walking down the road and in an emergency situation that I wanted to be as per se gray man as I could be and I don't think this attracts too much more attention over a lunch box uh, it, it's fairly heavy duty and the purpose of this bag like I said before is just to get me from under 10 miles from wherever I may be back to my resources so it's not a bug out bag uh, in my opinion it's an honest get home bag because I consider a get home bag is to get back home to where your resources are so that you know you can execute your your predetermined plan on how you're going to bug out now of course your travel distance is going to you know supersede how big your get home bag is but this one should do me fine. I do live out in the county. I mean, I it depends on which direction I go. I can go five to seven miles without ever seeing a house or a business. So, you know, this is all I think I need. Uh, probably more than I think I need. But let's just kind of look at the bag and what I put in it. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people criticizing this because there's not a lot in it. But there doesn't need to be a lot in it. Weighed out, this is at four pounds exactly on my digital scale. And uh, that does include the water bottle that's inside that is full. But, uh, you know, at four pounds, and if I'm close to home, I want to move as fast as I can get to get back to the resources that I have stored here. Now the front pocket, I do have a little compass which for the short distance is pretty much should be worthless to me. Uh, but I do have a compass in there. Uh, cheap Harbor Freight flashlight. Do have a couple of glow sticks in here. 
do have some bug spray with a little bit of duct tape. Here is absolutely nothing special about per se a medical kit. There's just some small band-aids in here, some ibuprofen, and some aspirin. There again, it's just your basics. I'm just trying to get home. Here, have an emergency blanket. Here, and actually a free harbor freight flashlight. Uh, that's it for the front pouch. Just zip it up out of the way. Now in the back, or oh, actually this is the middle, there's actually a back. In the front, 20 ounces of water. And after weighing it just now, I'm probably going to add two of those. An emergency candle. I should be able to expect at least four hours out of that. So for starting a fire, I do smoke, so I always have a cigarette lighter on me. Cigarette lighter, there's no matches, there's no ferrocium rod, no magnesium in here, just a lighter, one wet fire, and a little aluminum uh, container with several cotton balls of Vaseline. Uh, this is just a uh, used up roll of plumber's Teflon tape, which I put uh, bank line in. It works great, and there's about 75 feet right there, more than anything I should ever need. A few crude homemade tent stakes in case I need them. I did throw in a little food. These are nothing but smoked oysters. Eat them right out of the can. Only 120 calories a piece. Not bragging about that. A few zip ties. And this and this and this is just for shelter building. And what I've gone with is just a shower curtain from the Dollar Tree. And I went with that because the tablecloth is only 50 something inches by like 108 which only gives you about, I think it was four feet, six inches, or like nine feet or something, which is plenty long, but it's kind of short to do a lean-to. And this is kind of short in both directions, but you almost get a perfect six by six foot square out of this. And it does have, at one end, some reinforced uh, eyelets. The knife, Joe's carries Dollar Tree. Uh, terribly dull when I got it, sharpened it up. I got this really, the only reason I got this, it's stainless so it won't rust, but it did come with the sheath on it. And I like that so it doesn't tear up the bag and I didn't have to make one. One little hand towel, it's kind of like a sham wow thing. And here in the back, we do have an emergency poncho and some antibacterial wipes and really that is all that's in there. So really we've got our shelter taken care of right here. We've got our cutting right here. Now our first aid kit does have at least two single edge razor blades in it. but. I don't really consider those cutting tools, so we do have a cutting tool. We do have something for sanitation wipes and if you have to go to the restroom. Something for protection from rain. Something for either filtering more water or just general cleanup. Uh, something to help regulate body temperature. Something to start a fire with. We do have hydration. We do have a little bit of food. We have a light source, we have directional, more light source, and uh, a little duct tape if we need it for whatever, and bug spray because I do live in the south, and uh, we grow chicken, uh, mosquitoes about the size of chickens. And, uh, you know, that's it. I mean, for under 10 miles getting home, even if you got to spend one night in the woods, you really in my opinion for me this ought to do me just fine just really fine 
you know it's also very cheap you know a lot of these items cost a dollar I actually found this on the clearance at Walmart I think it was three dollars and forty nine cents for the bag the thing I'm, I'm most happy with it's only four pounds so I do think I'm going to add one more bottle of water because it does get hot here in the south but uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I've got all the bases covered for short term, just simply getting home as fast as I can, not setting up a base camp or anything like that. Just, you know, say an EMP strikes and the truck doesn't work, and nothing's working, and you've got to set out, and it's under 10 miles. This really should get you, it's light enough, it's not going to slow you down. It gives you the, the basic tools that you're going to need to get to what I call my real tools and uh, you know it's just something to look at e these even came from Dollar Tree and they uh, they don't expire for almost exactly two years uh, not a lot of cows, like I say 120 so 240 total but <clears throat> I'm sure there's people out there that's going to tell, tell me I don't need any food but uh, you know, it's a simple kit, it's a cheap kit, something you can keep in your car, and God forbid, even if it got stolen, it's not going to break the bank. But uh, it could definitely lend towards having some tools in an emergency situation. So, kick it around, improve it for your situation, your environment, your climate, and what you think you need. But try to have something even if it's just a cheap handful of what a lot of people may call junk try to have something it's it's a good warm feeling when you go out to know that you have some insurance right there and once you buy this insurance it's there it, you don't have to buy it every month and they don't raise the rates on you so thank y'all for watching y'all have a good night